Hello to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Pisces. Let's go. This reading is for October 1st through November 1st. Yeah, that number one is very, very powerful. We'll talk a little bit about it in a second. Let's get into it, Pisces. Let's go. Hopefully you all are setting your intentions every single day to have an amazing day. Um, and only creating room for that, not allowing yourselves to get overwhelmed by other people's, you know, other people's stuff, yeah, their emotions and their whatever, right? Um, so there, this is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. I am talking to you if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, even if you're on the cusp of Aquarius or on the cusp of Aries, I'm talking to you. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in donating, there is a donation button in the it below. Um, if you're interested in um, uh, scheduling an appointment, my link is in the description. Let's go, Pisces. Let's go. There's never any um, pressure to donate, but people have asked me, and I somehow keep forgetting in the videos to let you all know that there's a donation button below. So I'm letting you know now. So there's, but there's no pressure. Anyway, let's get into it, Pisces. Let's go. Here we have the Knight of Wands. Here we also have the Six of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Strength card, the God card, and also the Four of Wands. Somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. If you can just stay away from these types of energies, <laughs> I mean, just in general, at work, and your, let me just say in your personal and your professional, like personal could also be family. Stay away from people who are selfish, attention-seeking, have outbursts of anger, lack of patience, impulsive behavior, people who are arrogant, people who are inflexible, lazy, dogmatic, and prideful, domineering. When I say lazy, I'm talking about they don't want to do the work on themselves. They think everybody else is the problem except them. They are domineering, jealous, very competitive, impatient, careless, boastful, and brutal. You know, people who say, oh, I'm just keeping it real, but they don't consider people's emotions, right? So it's just stay as far away from those types of people and you've been able to do that. So your water is reflecting more of being around people who motivate others versus people who use their fire for evil to burn people. That would be shady, gossiping about people being messy and all of that. This is the energy you're on right here, inspiring people to motivate others. So I see you, um, I see you, and I'm talking to you even if Pisces is your MC or IC, I see you motivating other people to be their best authentic selves. That's what I see. And I do see here we have the four of wands. I do see somebody in a new and exuberant love and also feeling like the weight has been lifted off of your shoulders because now I can exist in a space where I've always knew that I could be inspiring people instead of my water so boiling hot. I can't even process the last 20 years of my life, let alone process the last five minutes. I feel like I'm always in rush mode. So just to get away from those types of energies who have a God complex, people where you feel like I got to, they say one more word, I'm going to let the lion loose, right? So source is saying you're staying away from people who you know, have a God complex. People who, um, like I said, you feel like a huge weight has been lifted just to stay away from those energies and things are actually operating in your favor and so that you don't come across because those energies always like to throw their rocks and hide their hands. They always want to play victim when you respond to their energy, when you react, not just respond, but react to their behavior. But they'll never tell people what they did to you. So source is saying you feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulder. So Congratulations to you. Congratulations, congratulations. All right, here we go. Four of Wands came out again. You have released those energies. You have released those energies. They are now a part of your past. They are now a part of your past. They're behind you now, Pisces. This is your card right here. So those overwhelming energies, those tricky situations, right? Tricky situations could be like, you know what? I was just carefully swimming along like a fish. Blue, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Here come this energy starting something and I responded and now all of a sudden victim. They want to blow something out of proportion instead of saying what role they play because they didn't expect for you to respond. They thought they were going to do something, bully you, burn you out, you respond. So here you are celebrating. Here you are celebrating, right? And I see you moving forward. I see you feeling like huge weights have been lifted off of your shoulders because now you're starting to identify spirits. It's not just one by one. It's not like I don't get along with this person, but I get along with that person. So it's just saying you're learning the spirit. How low can a, what, what, what level would a person go to to burn you? You know, if they would say things like, 
before I harm you, I'd walk away from you before that narcissist comes out. Cause you, somebody was definitely dealing with narcissistic energy. And here we have the, the very manipulative energy that every time you thought about it, your, your thoughts went real dark, right? And your ancestors look told on you. You need to get away from those energies, get away from those energies because they'll cause you to do something and they will play victim, right? They'll sue you. They'll do whatever. So source says you just needed to get away. You've already experienced a lot of hurt. You're still standing despite all the, the swords that were thrown at you, the, the smear campaigns, the lies, all of that from your own loved ones. So you survived a lot in your life. And the sad thing about narcissistic energy, they wouldn't even care how bad you had it in your own family because all they care about is somebody meeting their needs, putting water on their fire. And so you decided, hey, I need to I need to move on. With all of this psychological help out here, I'm telling you, you you wake up when you deal with a narcissist. <laughs> I tell you that that tell you that much. Narcissist in your family or whatever, you'll wake up then. So somebody has just decided whether it's in business, it can be triggering when there's a particular zodiac sign that you keep running into the same issues and problems with. That's how people get to a point where they say, I don't get along with this sign. I don't get along with that sign. But I would I would challenge you all to, in a very healthy way, to give people the benefit of the doubt like you would want people to give you the benefit of the doubt until they show, okay, this is a bit much. It's overwhelming. I need to go ahead and remove myself from, I need to get myself to safety. Before I start thinking the worst of a person so you don't keep going along with the flow and giving somebody a thousand and one chances until they burn you out. So this is a the first time you feel a burn, that's when they're going to know, oh, wow, I, I stepped overboard with Pisces. They may call you sensitive and that's OK, but you're also sensitive to their pain. You're sensitive to enough to know that if I continue on this journey with you. I'm going to reflect that same kind of energy and I'm going to be on that same frequency. So I'm saving. I'm essentially helping to save both of us. You're not saving them because you're not their savior, but I'm saving myself. So I'm saving myself from, because I already know how that burn feels. So when you start to deal with certain types of energies, they, they always accuse people of stuff. A lot of times they, some energies are delusional. They will tell you they never told you something, just very gaslighting energy and no, trying to test to see if you mentally, you know, like trying to play, they'll tell you, oh, I never, um, I never gave you my number or I never, um, how did you get that number? Very accusatory when they gave you the, how else would you have a number or how else would you have certain information on them if they didn't tell you just very like, you know, you got you start to question your own mental capacity. Like, did they not give me their number? Like, let me think. But when you keep your water clean, you won't even, at one time they say that to you, it's like, you know what, this person is trying to gas like me. There's no, why in the world would I want something other, other than them giving me that? Like, just that kind of energy, right? Or I didn't say that. They like to play those kind of games. Okay, I know I'm not going crazy. You know what? L let's just say that you didn't. But I, I, because I don't like to be confused, I need to go ahead and remove myself. I need to go ahead and you, you can go gaslight somebody else. Here we have the Three of Cups. We also have the Ace of Coins. We have the Nine of Coins, the Four of Coins, the Justice card, and the Devil card. Yep. You're definitely severing ties with some energies. Definitely severing ties with some energies because it, it's a type of spirit, right? It's the, it's the, when you think about the devil card, it's the, when you think about the devil, I think everybody has heard the devil is the author of confusion, right? It just creates a bunch of chaos and confusion. And some people are so narcissistic and so prideful, they won't even say, oh, I made a mistake. I misjudged something, or maybe I did, you know, they're not even trying to meet you halfway. They're not trying to take off the, when we talk about the justice card, we're talking about peace, right? You're a warrior for your own peace. So you're not going back to certain types of energies that are so arrogant and have such a God complex that they they can't even apologize or else they got to come back with some, well, you did this to me. That's why I did always a justification for why they hurt people. So source is saying you're moving on. Here we have the three of cups, the three of cups. And here's the, here's the sad thing about it. You all are very compassionate sign. The sad thing about this Pisces, when I look at the cards here, is that they may have a justifiable reason for why they are. Maybe they feel like, you know, their parents burned them out or their parents burned them out or somebody else burned them out or burned them or whatever the case may be. But it still doesn't take away the fact that they burned you, right? Let's I, let's get these, let's separate all these incidents here. 
and let them be held accountable for how they treat you. So when you once you go into that, I got to make excuses for this type of energy. Then when you get to that place of burnout and you come back at them, that's where they get you through your emotions. Four of Swords. So I do see you getting your rest. I see you getting your rest. Here we have the Ace of Coins and the Nine of Coins. I'm looking at um, financial independence for you, and I see you continuing to work very hard, you know, on yourselves. You know, like I said, financial financial independence. So even if you got, you know, even if you feel burned out by other areas of your life, and you feel like I just don't know how I'm gonna get some money, I I don't know where the money is coming from. Sources say to you, get your rest. And do things that nurture your spirit. Drink plenty of water. So you, if there's any messages that, like for instance, if you feel like <clears throat> my money is starting to look funny right now. Again, because somebody is burned out. And sources and burned out from something that's been heavy on your mind. Toss whatever the burnout is. This is where you're making room for additional streams of money to come in for your financial independence. And you really start changing your thought process. I'm going to take some kind of action. I'm not going to sit here with all of this going on when the moon is a super full moon and sources show me exactly what is burning me out or stressing me out. I'm going to toss it into a burning bowl. And if it's still coming up, I'm going to ask source. This is a private conversation between you and source. Source, why does this keep coming up in my spirit? Do I have something that connects me to that person? Do I have paperwork? Do I have pictures? Do I have emails, text messages? Did I block the number? Do I, are you know, what is connecting me to them, right? So even if they're following you with a fake account on social media, source is saying just consistently be inspirational. Use your fire to inspire people. Don't use that fire. Oh my God, I think they created a, a burner account. They looking at me on social media and now I'm, I'm paranoid. You don't need to be paranoid. You're a person who inspires a lot of people. So they've actually being inspired by you. So, so like I said before, you got a lot of good things, like I said, happening for you. Um, some people are just, they have this obsessive energy, right? Oh, now, now that they started something and that fire backfired on them, now they blaming everybody else. See, I, that's why I keep getting hurt when they wouldn't stop. So you're protected. You don't have anything to worry about. Like I said, you don't have anything to worry about. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have. Um going on here let me see what other cards yeah so whatever the whoever these energies are like i said they have a god complex they're they're a part of your past now and so anytime you feel like i gotta control myself around certain types of energies and i get so mad I, i'm about to say or do something that i'm a regret it may feel good that instant you know gratification at that moment but then later on you like okay that was so counterproductive i need to stay away from those types of energies because if they can trigger that kind of emotion to come out of me, that's what Source is saying. See this card right here? The person is taking a leap of faith. They got one foot firmly planted and they're taking a leap of faith into their own future. And that's you. So I do see somebody possibly, um, somebody is possibly moving somewhere where there you can do some kind of surfing, you know, like maybe near a beach or something like that, near a large body of water. And I do see you celebrating you know, moving on, leaving those types of energies behind. So you're moving to like a, a calmer kind of space. Here we have the Knight of Cups, the Hierophant card, the King of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and then also the Two of Wands, right? So um, somebody definitely has an innate spiritual understanding of what works best for you and what doesn't work best for you. Because a lot of times people will try to look outside of themselves, Pisces, and blame everything on everybody else. Well, this, they did this to me. They did that. Yeah. But how were they able to do it so many times and get away with it? You had to open up that door. So somebody is definitely learning about themselves. Here's more fire. Here we have the two of wands, the queen of wands, and the king of wands. So be, you've always had a lot of great ideas, but they could have been burned out dealing with narcissistic energies or people who always want all of the attention, selfish, they don't care, on them. And so a source is saying, moving forward, I see somebody creating, using that same fire of warmth to create online businesses, travel, meet new people. You're feeling happier, more charismatic and free because you don't have to be fired up and drained around those types of energies. All you need to do is keep your vibrations high so that these things happening for you fast. Things are just, 
it's going to feel like luck, Pisces, but it's really not luck at all. It's because you are now mindful of what works for your spirit and what doesn't work for your spirit. And that's why Source is creating financial independence for you because and that you've worked hard for it, like learning yourself. So here we have you learn how to save yourself from these types of energy. So stay in a posture of gratitude. Get your rest. Drink your water. Mind your business. <laughs> That's also another one too. Drink water and mind your business. You know, just stay as far away from those types of energies as you possibly can because they will stress you out, you know, to no end. And then try to play, you know, try to play victim on the back end. Like you did something so harmful to them that now they just can't recover because Pisces did all of this to me. And, you know, so stay away from bullying types of energies. All right, Pisces, let's finish. Let's get ready to close this out. But again, we're talking about the number one. The moon is currently in Pisces for the 1st of October through the 1st of November. The 1st of October, the moon is in Pisces. Second of, uh, I'm sorry, the moon is in Taurus. The 2nd of October, the moon is in Taurus. The moon will be moving from Taurus into Gemini on the 3rd. So it'll be in Taurus for a couple of days. Here are the questions for the moon in Taurus. How often do you feel true pleasure? Second question is, do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure? Third question is, where are the energy blockages and places of tension located in your body? Fourth question is, can you discern how your body says yes to some things and no to others? And then last but not least is, what does your body need? What does your body need? Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Ten of Wands, Six of Wands, the World card, and also the Seven of Wands. So Source is, like I said to you, saying to you again, we got the King and Queen of Wands, right? So you got, you know, two of you replacing two situations with a lot of great ideas moving forward. Like I said, the more you awake, and I see you feel happier, more charismatic and free without two energies in your life. Again, we also have the Two of Wands that came out. Earlier, we had the Ten of Wands. Um, like I said, booked and busy. You're only carrying your own world on your shoulders. You're not carrying other people's burdens and stuff. You're closing out cycles airtight. You're closing them out. You are, like I said, Seven of Wands and Six of Wands. So you definitely learn how Six of Wands came out twice. You slay some demons. It's, it's two type, like I said, it's two types of spirits. So it could be not only in your family, but can also be situations along the way. Like somebody could have won two court cases for such, you know, that could have been something. You could have won, um, like, um, this justice card could also represent, I won the battle of fighting my own demons of allowing energies to disrupt my peace in my life. That could be something, even if there's not a court case involved, it could mean that, Hey, I'm moving into a house. It could mean that I met new and exuberant love. It could also mean you celebrating. I don't have those duties and responsibilities in my life anymore. So I can move on right here. We also have the seven of wands. So I said, I see somebody, I thought I saw the seven of wands. Yeah. So the seven of wands sources uh, saying to you, you'll be able to um, defend your decision to move on from those types of energies without coming across as defensive at all. In other words, once those energies feel like, because in their mind, they're feeling like, OK, well, we had this big argument or this big blow up and. Um, um, and, you know, Pisces is mad, but actually you're not mad in the time that you've had without certain energies. Like I, for instance, let's take it off of family for a second, right? I feel like somebody was part of an organization because of this card right here, this card right here, the Hierophant card, like a church or some kind of organization job or so it could have been a church and a job for somebody where you feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders because now you're able to identify with yourself you're able to identify i was in spaces where there was a lot of hostility in those spaces you know have you ever been in an environment where it like like for instance if you go to a fight like a boxing match a lot of people are riled up because of the energy that's in the ring. In some spaces, some jobs have felt like that. Being around certain types of people have felt like that. And so it's a type of energy that for you, because water is reflective and you're so compassionate, 
You be like, you're looking at stuff with your natural eyes. And, okay, I'm trying to pick up on all these energies and I'm, I feel riled up and I don't even know why. I'm just exhausted being around certain energy. So it's a type of energy that for you is counterproductive to your, your purpose here on earth, your calling here on earth that you're um, um, parting ways with. And you're not, and like I said, you're breaking away from any, but some people, they need this kind, they feel like they need this kind of stuff to thrive because their number one is out of alignment, right? So like I said, this reading is for the first, um, the, for the 1st of October through the 1st of November. When number one is out of alignment, a number one person can be boastful, aggressive, cynical, egotistical, and even turn to bullying others to create a false sense of power. Um, their repressed feelings can turn to anger. And if they're unwilling to join forces or cooperate with people easily, right? They prefer to bully their way. It's like my way or the highway, those types of energies. That's when you know people can't stand alone. Those are the types of people they, they feel like they need to gang up on other people. I got it. But, but by themselves, they have this very bullying energy. But by themselves, you see that cowardice come out of them, right? So they you're showing them, I don't really need that. I'm standing firm and guess what? And still things are still going in my favor. So here we have number one is is a uh that's aligned, is dignified, is straightforward, it's a it's a has a very penetrating sense of direction. Number one is a vibration that represents the masculine aspect of our experiences. So you're like I have too much respect for myself. I have too much dignity for myself to hang out with people who feel like they need to bully other people. This is not the kid. This I can't even say it's the kindergarten. This is not this is not some schoolhouse. We got to gang up on the weakest person in the school. You're not even trying to be a part of that mess. You're like, I don't want to be a part of that. I'm on a different frequency. So I'd rather sever ties with you. You they they all about operating in, in 3D, you all are on a different frequency. So work through your fears. Whatever your fears are, work through your fears. Source is saying, because somebody has, well, your fears could be, I'm moving somewhere. Because see this person right here, two of wands, somebody's traveling. Source is saying, somebody could be relocating, literally, because I'm seeing somebody being near a beach. So work through your fears of getting away from those types of energies, even if they're your family, because somebody's like, okay, it, you know, at least if I if I had those types of energies around me, I still feel protected because one minute they're fighting you, the next minute they're fighting for you. Like which one? But how many times do you need to be? Burned? It's just it's just too confusing. Source is saying to you, when you know that you're divinely protected, it's time for you to just move on. So work through whatever fears you may have had. Like and this and this uh, Scorpio is ruled by um, Scorpio is ruled by. Um, Pluto with and Pluto is currently retrograde. So those energies represent a real deep seated, unhealthy, wounded emotion for somebody, you know, of being able to move beyond, you know, somebody blowtorching you. You know, that bullying narcissism. Somebody's like, what does a world look like without being around those types of energies? Those bullying types of energies. It's actually a beautiful world. It's actually a very beautiful world being away from those types of energies. Then it's going to make sense to you why they don't really have any true friends around them. It's going to make sense to you why those types of energies, they got to bully their way through life. Here we have fertilizing, number 10. Food is not the only thing that nourishes you, dear one. Be mindful of what you feed your soul. That's right. 10 is the number of instant manifestation. So somebody's definitely in, instantly manifesting the life that they know that they deserve. So you may have felt like, you know, during this super full moon in Aries that, hey, I've just been exhausted and burned out thinking about certain things. Sources like you just get your rest, drink your water, try to make sure you have very hydrating drinks, you know, um, the, the ones that dehydrate you, you want to make sure you limit those drinks so that it can affect your sleep. It could affect a whole lot of things. The source is saying, just get ready to do all the things that you said that you were going to do. Take the action you said you were going to act. Travel more. Start an online business. You have all of these ideas for what you want. You want to be totally coherent. Learn a new language for some of you all. Buy a house. Buy a new car. Sell off stuff. Whatever it is you said you were going to do, somebody has definitely taken some bold actions. So source is releasing some things off of your scale. So like I said, nourish your temple. Nourish your temple. 
Nourish your temple. Drink as much water as you possibly can to flush out all the toxins in your, your body. So for where you're going, I see somebody feeling like a huge weight has been. Other, see this right here? Others people's uh, weight has been lifted off of your shoulders, have been removed from your shoulders. So get ready to be booked and busy and not burdened at all. But pace it out so that you taking like one day on, one day off, one day from me, then one day for, you know, other stuff. Another day from me on and off, you know, so that you are getting yourself together. So for detachment. That's right. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. That's right. Somebody's learning how to detach in love. So if somebody's sitting around thinking that you hold, you've been holding grudges and all that, that's on them. You're detaching in love. Your intention is not to hurt them. You're too busy trying to motivate everybody else. So you try to motivate them and they trying to fight you, swinging on you. So here we have number nine. I am compassionate. It's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to good and you have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service and that's speaking up for others. When you're being manipulated and people turn and blow towards you after you've spoken up on their behalf, it only needs to happen one time. But before it even happens the first time, if you listen to your intuition, you'll see they have it in them because you see how they treat other people around them. So sources are saying stay, steer clear of those types of energies and move on with your life. That is what I have for you. And I will see you on Motivational Monday. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hopefully those questions will help somebody. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Monday. Bye.